Muredo. 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 <laughs> so Muredo's game. Uh, it's a Japanese game, actually. So uh, um, we got it over here. It is. There it is. It's a game that you play to train your <laughs> tables of multiplication. Yep. And the goal of the game is to fill in the square as much as possible. So, are you sh should the rules of the game? Oh, you, you shouldn't do that. Then the video will be too long. I think it's pretty obvious. It's, it's, it's very easy. It's basically throwing the dice. Uh, th throwing one One die. or two die dice. <laughs> so, one die? And on the yeah. opposite side is two dice because this is a more difficult version. This, um, if you throw t a number that's too low, you um, um, uh, escape your turn. Is that right? Well, that's not that important. The main thing to know is basically that you, you um, throw, for example, four. Four, you and then and then and then uh, you put one of. Uh, you put um so you go for blue then you put one of these yeah onto a four yeah right here on the edge if you threw a four the next time you throw if you throw a three for example, if you throw three, you multiply. Uh, you can either multiply two, four by three, so the answer is twelve, and uh, so you move that one to there. If the answer is there. Or, uh, you move to there. Or, or, or and you can also do this if the answer is there, but, but you. Also, the answer is not there. You could just put a new one of these pieces onto the th three. Yep. That's the general rule. And then, as the one who fills this in, this square in... That's the goal of the game. The first wins. Yep. So and Simon... you can't do that, but... So, uh, so. And Simon thought... It's way too complicated to play with all those pieces that are falling off the board constantly. Let me just do that the electronic way, he said. And he started, last night he started making this from scratch. And he came up with those beautiful Japanese spring sakura-like... Pa pastel colors. Pastel colors, yeah. But the game is not done yet, so it's not online yet. Which, uh, which, what have you got so far? This video will be uh, uh, about work so in far, progress. What I have is you, uh, if you click anywhere on this blue, n nice blue square here, you get a five, and the next thing, uh, um, or anything, looks like a five is more... I don't know. And if you drag one over here uh, and maybe I can click on one of these and yep. So you um, you've got the interface which was a lot of code. Uh, actually I'm not done with the interface yet. But, but you're already working on the interaction as well, right? Yep. And um, the dragging of the game pieces is done. And also the throwing of the dice is done. You did it by generating random numbers, right? Yep. Can I th throw? If you just click here, you throw? Oh, look at that. Oh, and you can you can throw twice? Oh, you can. You can throw twice. If you, uh, I'm gonna make it so that if you throw a six, I, I think you right now you can't throw a six. But oh really? <laughs> I think you should be able to. Otherwise, you can't really play properly. Uh, 
Let me try to throw a six. Doesn't look like you can. I'm not getting a six. Let me debug this. this. Is the code. Oh, I'm multiplying it by five. So I should multiply this by six. <laughs> so now I should. Oh yeah. <laughs> Great. So what is this? And, and also, if you want, uh, if, if you throw a six, you gotta you you can roll again. <laughs> Like it's six oh, really? Letters. <laughs> okay. Uh, so what's what's coming next is that you should be able to to switch to those square areas, to those squares, right? Move your game pieces to the squares. Yep. And how are you gonna decide that somebody won? After. When the game is completely over, who has most pieces in the square areas? Because sometimes it's yes. impossible to fill it in 100%, yep. right? So maybe that should not be the condition. The condition should be whoever was the first one to fill the most, or whoever has the most game pieces on his or her square, something like that. Something like that. Okay. So this is work in progress, and hopefully, when do you think you'll be done? Within two days or something? This is a lot of work, so we don't know when this is done. But I just love the design of this. It is completely Simon's, as well as the code. And we'll do a follow-up video when the game is done. Right? Mm -hmm. Hello. Yep. <laughs> and we'll put it on GitHub, right? So that everybody can play it. Uh, yep. Please, please do. Yep. Yeah. And see the code. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Bye for now.